Okay, today, folks, we're uh, we're doing some stuff. Got tools out. We're pulling the top off. Already got us the doors off. They're sitting over there. But we're gonna get the top off of this guy. Ooh, coffee. <clears throat> <coughs> yep. Got us some new shoes on the, on on the old Jeep. Some mud claws. Look at these guys. Huh. Nice big old treads in there. Should be good. And got some more lights. I moved the round ones from on the fender to down there. Put those guys on. Those are hooked in with the high beams. And we got us some uh, some six inch light bars on there. They work pretty good. Somebody tried stealing this one and bent the mount. I had to straighten that back out. I gotta put a couple more bolts in there. But yeah. She's uh, running good now. Running pretty good. Stuff all over the freaking place. But yeah, just gotta pull some screws out of the front. The majigger. We'll grab a screwdriver here and we'll show you. should work I got a bug on me lens yeah there we go better Ouch. remember walking across the yard don't twist your ankle that hurts Okay, up here, there's a bunch of these guys all the way across, and we gotta get out. Ugh. I still need a tripod. I gotta get one. <laughs> so probably be quicker with a drill. You know what I mean? in the middle oh of course there is okay so <clears throat> I'm gonna finish getting this top unscrewed here because it's kind of requiring both hands my sunglasses look twisted to y'all seems like this side's a little high nah, I don't know. all right we'll get back to you here once this thing's undone Okay, so we got it off. Got all the screws out. There's, I think, six, seven of them in total all the way across the top here. Uh, got all these guys that run down the side of the cap on either side. there she only had three bolts in the back half when i got the jeep so i added a few more so it was a little more solid yeah so 
to get some help lifting this top off of here. Because that's just what's necessary. This thing's fiberglass, so it's heavy and awkward. I've removed it myself a few times, but it's still awkward to remove. and finish taking that off. Same with this one. It's supposed to say four by four, but I think after I repaint it, I'll do the four by four symbol down there on either side. Maybe even do one there. Oh, got some new little marker lights in, one there. on the other side they're wired in with the turn signals so when you hit the clicker it, it clicks and does its thing the dog chilling out underneath one of them yeah yeah these guys cost me a hundred bucks Got the old tires way over there stacked up. Go for a little walk. Seven foot fire pit. Use that on uh, New Year's there. That was good. That stack of pallets, there was a stack probably about twice that size. We burned it all in the night and we had us a good, uh, good little fire. Fenders for the Jeep. All four of the dirt tracks, four out of five that were on it. Switched out the rims for the new tires. But, once we start working with these vendors, some of y'all might recognize them. They're, uh, they're off my uncle's Jeep. He's not putting them back on. He's doing a rat rod style. So he's just going to have the hood, the grill, and the tub, and then uh, the fenders aren't going to be there, so you see all engine. dog oh what do you got there hey what do you got oh look at you good dog yeah did you get him yeah did you get him real good Nyla she's like yep mine hi little gopher I think that's what that is. Well, wow. y'all enjoy your lunch or toy, whatever you turn it into. But remember, eat it when you're done with it. These two are very weird creatures. <laughs> Nyla, you're jackass. Go and take it and walk away and then drop it and 
Not even eat the darn thing or play with it or nothing. Yeah, they're... They're weird like that. Yeah. Ooh. A propane tank's floating in the middle of the slough. It's a propane tank. It used to sit at the bottom of the hill over here. Come on. There we go. Down at the bottom of the hill over here. It's where we use it for target practice. And it went missing and there's a beaver dam or a beaver hut over there. And we noticed it a few days ago up over there by by that beaver hut and now it's floating out in the middle today on its way over to the right side there I'm thinking we might be able to get that tank back it was too far out to get before on the other side we couldn't get to it but might be able to get to it now <sighs> all right we got all of our little straps here to Unroll the rest of the screen down and tie it up and get it on there. Gotta find a way to mount that sucker back up top once we get the roof off. Because currently, the way it goes up there, it's got a couple of metal plates. This one's for the, for the beacon. And this one was for my uh, handheld CB antenna, the mag mount portion. I, May have snapped it off but yeah this guy's heavy and mildly textured <laughs> but we'll get that off of there and, and whatnot and see how it goes so we'll be back with y'all once the roof is off Alrighty, enjoy your afternoon.